Hello everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another beginner's guide tutorial. This vlog is dedicated to all beginners out there who wish to know anything and everything about computers. So if you have something in mind, please feel free to comment it down below and we are going to create a beginner's guide tutorial for you. We are going to make this tutorial quick and easy to learn. Okay, so let's go. Okay, now we are going to learn about pivot tables in Excel. Pivot table and pivot chart. Now, pivot table is like some sort of manipulating different fields to whatever you like. And at the same time, it helps us sort things easier and faster, especially if you're going to deal with reports. Now, to start with, I have a sample data in here. Again, this is just a sample data, so we are only going to deal with 15 items here, okay? Now, this is some sort of a delivery monitoring sheet. So, it monitors all the deliveries from different suppliers on a specific date. Now, to insert a pivot table, all we need to do is just to highlight the whole table itself then go to insert then choose pivot table afterwards we are just going to click on ok on this new panel right here or new window there as you have noticed you will be seeing the blueprint of our pivot table and the pivot table fields now once you have accidentally clicked on this area right here the pivot table fields will be hidden so to restore it just click on our blueprint there you go now if you have simply closed it right here and when you click on the blueprint it will not appear so it's like it's somewhere in here under pivot table tools pivot table analyze be sure that you have clicked on this area right here then choose field list there you go next is we are going to create or sort things out so this is a new sheet now the preview sheet that we have just opened a while ago is this one okay so they're just in there side by side so going here we have a couple of instructions so we are going to deal with sorting first okay sorting so first is we are going to drag category to the filters field so this is category right here I'm just going to drag this one to the filters field over here there up next is drag delivery date to the columns field delivery date yeah over here to the columns field it will create automatically a new um, field right here okay it's month so just leave it that way so going back supplier and product to the rows field so going here I have supplier drag it one by one to the rows field and product drag it to the rows field underneath supplier there you go going back to pivot table click on units to the values field so we have unit here units is there but in here we just type unit there you go now as you have noticed uh, we have organized or sorted out things up next is we are going to organize them by renaming some of the labels now again the purpose of pivot table is like it's a user preference so not like VLOOKUP pivot table is like it's your idea on how things would look okay so something like that for me this is uh, what I think is the best uh, look for this particular data right now now rename row labels to suppliers monitoring so I have row labels in here so I'm just going to name this one as suppliers monitoring so why I named it suppliers monitoring because underneath it it contains all the suppliers okay so it's up to you whatever you name whatever name you like so next is rename column labels to delivery date 
column labels is somewhere here I am seeing delivery dates here so I'm going to name this one as delivery date yeah, there going back rename category to product category category so product category there you go up next is last one is sum of units to something like empty actually the double quote is like just nothing okay so whatever is space in there just press your space bar so let's say under sum of unit i'm going to press my space bar just leave it like that enter there you go now what's going to happen is like uh, if your boss is going to ask you to print a report about the deliveries of a particular product category let's say hey Keith can you print the office equipment deliveries that we have so I'm just going to click on office equipment then click OK there you go now let's say if I'm going to go back click all OK so let's say my boss is going to ask me hey Keith can you please print all the deliveries coming from a particular supplier or certain supplier named Electro World so all I need to do is just to uncheck everything, click on Electro World, click OK. There you go. Same thing, uh, going back, if you wish to print a certain delivery date, you can just click on the delivery date monitoring, uncheck everything. Let's say I'm going to print all the deliveries for December. I'm just going to type DEC, which is some sort of an identifier for December. That's it there you go so that is the main purpose of pivot table okay this time we are going to create a chart using this table right here particularly we are going to create a pivot chart first we are going to highlight this data right here the whole data then click on insert then choose pivot chart click ok it will create a new sheet right here containing pivot table and pivot chart so all you need to do is just to drag whatever is necessary that you wish to show so for example for me here's the tr uh, the trick guys so that it would be easier for you to identify be sure that the unit or an area of your table that has numbers must be placed under values so just like me I'm going to place it here so that's the units okay then maybe the product category or this one will be under filters then supplier might be on the axis okay that would be great then same thing with the product of each supplier maybe underneath it that will do okay now we already have created a chart now if you wish to change how the chart would look it's over here design then we have a couple of designs here whatever you like let's say I don't like that this one is good but if you wish to change the chart type you can change it from here so maybe the bar chart will do click OK I think this is perfect there so as you can see I have seen all my suppliers then whatever products they're trying to deliver which product has the highest number of deliveries okay so that is how you're going to create a pivot chart with pivot table in microsoft excel